Today we'll be live firing Precision Remote Sentry with Battle Station Command and Control. This is a networked system. It is necessary for a supervisor to enable and give power to the operator to be able to engage targets. As you can see, blacked out, supervisor enables. They'll say waiting for console enable. The operator then enables his system. He's got the map view with an icon. This represents the one system that we have currently have uh, hooked up. Operator selects the system. The scope view comes into play, the visual, and also the location of the, cent of the century. You'll see that the system is grayed out in certain areas. This is the hard stops that are integrated into the, uh, the sentry. Once the operator is given permission by the supervisor, he can unlock the system. The system will come out of its nesting and the operator can elevate and rotate the system. One of the features on here is you can touch the screen and the, the system will move to that location. An outstanding capability that the Sentry has integrated is MILES, the, the Multiple Integrated Laser Engagement System. As you see here, the key position on this side is, is in rows, which is, gives you the live weapon. If you turn the key, switch the key over, turn it over to trainer, it's indicated on the monitor as in the trainer mode and will also in be indicated on the operator's mode. The trigger is, is then electrically locked out. You can't, you can't enable the trigger, so the safety system is in place. Once it's in the trainer mode, the operator selects the weapon, and when the weapon comes up, the barrel stays nested, oriented into the bullet trap. The sensor packet is decoupled, and on the sensor packet, is a laser transmitter and a laser receiver. So the Miles force on force type application is integrated into the system and can be exercised with this sentry. Once the operator is given permission to use deadly force, supervisor will enable the trigger. In that same sequence, he arms and starts to fire. At any time in the sequence, the supervisor can disable the system S several ways. He can dis disengage the trigger, he can dis disable the console, or he can do his emergency stop button over here. So see, as soon as he hits emergency stop, release emergency stop button to resume. Operator has to reselect the system, and then he's got control of the weapon. As soon as he takes the trigger away, he cannot fire the system. Gives it back. The sentry.